Jonas Stans from here with Untamed Science. I wanted to show you where I'm spending my summer. This is pretty much it. I'm actually sleeping on the floor here behind me and this here is my kitchen. And this is my workstation and my dinner table. But let me show you my backyard. This is it, pretty cool, huh? I'm actually in Norway helping a friend of mine make um, underwater maps of a few different mountain lakes here in Norway. And uh, this is really cool stuff, really cool technology. Uh, GPS based of course because we're making maps and I figured I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about map making and GPS technology. So here you go. GPS units communicate with satellites to tell them exactly where they are. Still, errors can occur that are not accepted when making maps. How? Well, for example, the signals don't just travel in straight lines. In fact, they bend as they go through the different layers of the atmosphere. And depending on where they are will affect the travel time in the atmosphere, so precise timing is very important. Another thing is how the available satellites are lined up in reference to each other. For example, if they're all located in the same direction from the receiver, not so good. Or if the satellites are too low at the horizon, also a problem. And there are a lot more things that can mess up your signal. And I can tell you, you gain a lot of respect for the people that create really detailed maps when you start learning about all the things that needs to be taken into consideration. Another interesting fact is the name itself, GPS. GPS, or Global Positioning System, actually only refers to the satellites sent up by the US that were the first to use the technology. Today's advanced units also pulls location info from Russian GLONASS satellites, Plus soon the European Union's Galileo satellites, as well as China and India, are scheduled to have satellites up and running. So even if the name GPS has kind of stuck and will be hard to change, the correct name should now actually be Global Navigation Satellite System, or GNSS, as more countries are sending their satellites up. So I want to show you our system. We have a sonar down here that is connected to the water and that sends a signal to the bottom and we get a bottom measurement every second. And then we have a GPS unit up here, which is uh, pretty essential when you're making a map, right? You need to know exactly where you are. And uh, the GPS and the bottom measurement are then sending their information to this little computer here. So basically what we get is a, a dot on the map every second. And that dot uh, gives us our location and our bottom uh, depth right right there. Our goal is that we will have one measurement every 10 square meters, which is roughly about 30 by 30 feet, at least, at least that. And then all those dots are then put together into a bottom topography map. And why do we do this? Well, it's not necessarily for other boaters since it's pretty hard to get to many of these lakes with your boat. But Norway is a land of a lot of water, so much of this is used to generate electricity. In fact, so much that it's exported to a lot of other countries in Europe. Then it is good to be able to calculate how much water you have to work with, so you need to know what the bottom looks like to calculate the volume. Pretty cool stuff, huh? All right, that's all from Norway for this time. Take care, see you next time. So this video was shot during a project that I did together with MMT, a company that does really cool projects scanning the ocean bottom and uh, obviously bottoms of lakes as well. So I hope you liked it and if you do like what we're doing here at Untamed Science, please subscribe to our channel because we have more videos coming out every week.